Well, good morning, guys. Hope you're all doing well. Just give me a bit of a look at the views from where I am today. I'm at another a new property. Uh, this is Tim's place, and he owns a local uh, winery out here. And up in these hills where I am, there's a few burrows. So, um, just about, I just had a bit of a walk around. I'm a little bit puffy because I'm getting old to walking up and down these hills, mate. And it is very steep. Anyway, there's a couple of areas down here that I spotted a few rabbits run to and there's a couple of burrows on the other side of the fence that I've seen. I was out here the other day and Tim pointed me in the right direction and here I am. Alright, get back to you. Alright, don't try this at home moment unless you've got a four-wheel drive. <coughs> um, so I've driven down the hill here to where the car is there. Beautiful, stunning views here. There's a little bit of a burrow in here. Doesn't look all that good. There's another big warren there that Fleet's standing on. And uh, there's another couple of burrows around here on that side of the bit of a ridge there. Anyway, I'll throw down a couple of person out here and give this one a go. There is a few, I did see a few running in the area. Not many, I've seen about, I don't know, 10. 15. On the neighbouring property, he's got quite a few running out in the paddock. They were right out in the paddock, but um, I'll probably try and find out about that later at some point, maybe. All right, I'll set up a few purse nets, grab some ferrets out, put them in the box and run them through. I've got um, Charlie out again, Monty, Chewy, Silver, um, Buffy, Zena and Star. Probably run the, That's a pretty big burrow there. I'll run the long net around that one. I just wanted to try this one run the kit through. I've got Charlie here so um, I'll quickly throw down a few purse nets and give it a go. The ground here is like solid as like almost like concrete. Right. Put down a few purse nets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is what I had couple of holes open. Let's get Charlie and Monty out. <laughs> Alright. Charlie. Second burrow. She did well last time. I'll put one in up here. Monty. Stand back. Wait, loves that burrow there. So my, I don't think we look. I'm not hopeful about this one, but that one definitely. Please come, Chase, come. <laughs> he loves that burrow, mate. Charlie? And if they come out of here with the holes that are open, they'll definitely run to there. Or the other one just over there. There's another one. Big, big further over. Chase, come. Chase, come. Please, come.
bit of bolt here. So this rabbit is running in circles. So I just added a couple of ferrets. Probably only one in here, but there is one in there. I can hear it kicking over here, soaking the dog. I think Chewy's got hold of it. Well, it's going to be uh, 29 degrees Celsius. <coughs> so I haven't got a lot of time. As soon as I can, I'll pick these up and move to the big one because that sun's coming up quick, mate. Charlie. Yeah, I'm well, isn't she? This rabbit just won't bolt, guys. Probably got his head in the corner. I heard, I heard him kicking. Heard a couple of bolts around here in circles. Now just kicking there. I think Chewy's got all of it. Charlie. Move, start picking these nets up, they're not gonna get that out. Oh, bloody hell. All right, guys, I'll wait for Chewy, pack the nets up, move to the next burrow. I started packing the nets up. The dog's heard something over here. It's, it's, he's got it. He's just, it's just kicking.
Oh, oh yeah, it's right here somewhere. That was a big thump. It ran, a, you know, about a foot. Chewy's got hold of it for sure. Chewy doing what Chewy does. It's a big rabbit too. He's good Chewy, but he, he catches a few. You hear me say that often. To you now. Oh, look at the dust. There's a heap of dust coming up here. You might get it out. It's just in here somewhere. Between there and there. Move. Move. Alright, guys, just the camera back on. Still waiting for Chewy. <coughs> just hearing that rabbit kick every now and again. I hope he's not blocked any behind it because that, that, that ground fed him is rock solid. And the sun's coming up very fast. And the trouble with this time of year is you only get to go out and do a couple of bows before it gets too hot. And I haven't even started setting up yet. Look at the trail through the grass over there. See the trail? Trail there, trail there. They could be from kangaroos or, or rabbits. And or both. I like your pack here. Look at the blood on him. So he's killed that rabbit, more than likely. Killed that one and looking for more. But he knows it's done, look at him. Hey Chewy. Yeah, blood on his nose, see that? Licking his lips. He's killed that one. Chewy do doing what Chewy does. So if you remember a couple of years ago I, we were talking about 
when I had before I had any experience with cut bucks I said you know they had their advantages and disadvantages and, uh, and that everything that I said turned out to be correct you know and I've never worked them but I had my theories because of their their, their, their uh, physical attributes over a gel but they have their uses they got a um, a fair bit more stanima and they have a lot of other uh, attributes as well like at home they you can put them with any other ferret they don't smell as much you don't have to worry about breeding them all that sort of thing so they have their advantages would I own a few of them? Not for the ferreting that I do because um, I don't like to stand around waiting because look if I was in England or somewhere like that where the ground was softer and we, we used trackers all the time fair enough but not here mate you know like the good ones are going to catch more than uh, the ones that are average because just on their physical attributes alone so, so the other ones that aren't so good that don't catch as many probably uh, aren't going to be good how you going Tim? <laughs> you got to be kidding mate I'm too old for that and too fat they just killed, Chewy just killed one in here you, if you see my YouTube page it'll be on there he just killed one in here, I got stuck here waiting for a little while and I'm only just got, I've only just got him out the ferret? yeah he, look, he's renowned for it. He's a cut buck. He's pretty big. Yep. And I worked him with a young kid that's it's only at second burrow. And I knew there was one in there because I heard it bolt. But it's, once they start running in circles, they, they either come out or they get killed. Yep. And he's dead. Chewy come out cut, cut with blood all over his nose. So he's killed it. There's one you don't have to worry about. Where's the ginger dog? But I'm going to uh, hide him. He's just around here somewhere, mate. Hey, will it? He uses his nose a bit more than the others. Chase, come! Chase, come! Yeah, I didn't know they were so big. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, that's the one I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna put the long nets right around it. Good boy, mate. Yeah, he's, he's only a baby. That one's still training him. I've just got him off the roof, so he doesn't chase him anymore. But it was a battle. They like them, you know, they really like them. Sorry? They can come unstuck from Bruce Valley. Yeah, well, I've had a few when that's I was young. Well, happy, doesn't Him? It's skinny. Carrying his, oh, no, that's, it's just his build. Yeah. You have a look at the others, they're, they're on the same tucker. Yeah. That's just his build. His old man was the same. Yeah. You can't put any, any weight on him, you know. Well, he feels the cold, he'd rather be an old Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's been pretty warm, mate. If he's like that now and the cold does something to him, I feel, I feel sorry for him pretty soon. No, he's always been like that, he's like from day one. Yep. And his dad's the same. They've got the uh, the same father, different mother. Yep. And him, he's, he's still still training him, but he's uh, he's getting there, he's coming along. I don't think I've ever driven down this yet. Yeah, well, I... I, 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 I you, you pick a straight line, you'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah, well that happens too, mate. But I did, but I, I sort of picked the path before I took off. I reckon that'll be the busiest one, the one above the olive trees. But... Yeah, I'll do them all. I found a few. Yep. Your neighbour's got a few rabbits too, mate. Who owns that paddock? As in? Straight up the hill and straight across. But how far across? Uh, past the first fence. There's a shed down here that's got a few, but there's a burrow there. And if you go up over this hill and then straight down, there's there's a couple of burrows down further. I've seen, I've seen about 10 or 15 run over there today. Oh, yeah. You'd probably go there, but my uh, ex-pastor Oh, righty-o, yep. Okay. 
Yeah, where's the one you reckon to visit? I'd seen it, I I'd seen it. Really I'll do that one first because I'm here. I might not get, look, the weather's always the, the issue, you know. But if I don't get it today, I'll get back to it. That one over there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I reckon there's a boy, or someone, bring up some school and ferreted. Yeah, well, it was a couple of years ago now. But we got a lot out of that one. Yeah. A couple out of this one, I reckon. There is, there is rabbits in there. Me, me dog's, Fleet's not a real good marker, but when he does mark, you know there's a few in it. Yeah. He's not exceptional. Them side hounds aren't really good marking dogs. Um, I, the last, my good marking dog died last year from cancer. But that's a good burrow, that one. All right, guys, we've got the, uh, the long neck going all the way around. Just about to enter a couple of ferrets. We're going to put you Silver, Charlie, and this is her third burrow. She's only a baby. That's the baby. Yeah, No. This one? Yeah. That's the baby. Third burrow. We'll see it out, we'll see how good it is when we put the pressure on it. A lot of them they'll drop off because you're using them two or three times a week. Yep. Their interest drops off, you know, and then I get rid of them. If they're no, if they if they can't hold their interest, they're no good to me. They like it if you use them once a week or once every couple of weeks. But when you put the pressure on them, they, they drop off. And I won't breed that. I won't breed them like that. Their prey drive is not high enough. You know, humans have been trying to breed that out of them for forever, and I'm trying to breed it back into them. That's alright, let him have a chew mate. I don't mind, They're only, it's only going to be fair. It's caught in the net, that's why. Alright, mine. Here buddy, look. He likes them, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, I, should, I might be able to get it in the same hole, if I can find it. Yeah, everyone loves him. He's a bit of a legend, that dog there. It's a class act. That whip it, that grey whip it, the skinny one. Yep. He's a class act, mate. He's legendary. He's getting on a bit now, but let's just say I wouldn't mind a dollar for every rabbit he's caught. He he he's got him for he's got him for pace, but not the attributes yet yet. But he'll take some beating, you know.
been a heap of rabbits. Give it time, mate. I'm tipping maybe four or five. Maybe. To be one of the bows that holds a lot more than the rest. Yeah, I reckon it'll do that. Yeah. That other one. No, he's a goodie. That's a goodie. Yeah. Fucking heart rate is going up again. <laughs> he's a good one. Very good cut. It's going good, that young kid. But she, she went good the other day too. She, I only took her out the first time the other day. She's only um, 13, 12 weeks old, that one. There's yeah, Monty. Parrots are good. Don't grab the parrot. Parrots no. Good. No, no, no. How old's the dog? Seven. Something going on over here. All right, mine, mine. All right, mine. Might need a hammer for that, mate. Maybe get traction on me face. Trying to hold his back foot. Yeah, I, I, mate, I get covered in scratches and rolling around on the ground. And... Another one. All right, wait, wait, that's enough, wait, wait, that's enough, mine, mine, chase mine, chase, good boy, ah, ah. mine, good boy, that's a good boy, let him have a chew if he wants, no, he doesn't, he doesn't chew on it, don't he, well, it won't be dead, he moves over there, yes, when they're young, I teach them that. When they're dead, leave them alone. He still, he still grabs the odd one. He was watching it. He should, should have been dead, mate. He's dead now. I'll let her go. She should go back down. And that's fair. It's good boy. That's good. That's good. You can if you want. Dot, 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 dot. Hard to, hard to tell. Not, not since you walked down though. No. And once they start going from hole to hole and showing their head, 
it, normally you'll see them all, all sort of come up at once and that's when you know. Yeah. But he's still looking. It's a large area and they run in circles underground. I did see money come up there. There is a burrow I want to run it through there. I think it comes out of that. That might just go around. Like dogs. Yeah, like dogs. Yeah. Come good, this young kid. Very, very good. I'm, I'm impressed. But her mum was a real. I didn't actually uh, breed her, but he's got it. Good boy, mate. All right, mate. All right, that's enough. Mine. Chase mine. Mine. Good boy. Good looking dog, mate. Yeah, he gets a lot of... Uh... I had one bloke, he got out one day. <coughs> I left the gate open. And he walked around the corner, he was playing with his dog. And the... when I went looking for him, I called him to come running over. And the, and the lady said, oh, lucky you come looking for him. We were going to keep him. But he's uh, nine months, just turned nine months. He's full grown in height, he won't get any taller. But he'll turn into something. And he won't be, um, he won't have all of his speed until a year and a half, at least. But he's already got these beat. But you know, they're getting on, he's past his best. And she's bloody. Still more in there, mate. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, mine. That's enough, mine. Chase, chase, mine. Good boy. That's enough. Damn sticks. Make sure he's dead before I put him down. So, you know, judging by what I've seen running this morning, you, you'll probably, I'll probably pick up probably 50 in this area. Yep. By the time I've done the burrows, you know. Hey, look, you don't know, but that's my guess. There's still more in there, though. But you never get them all, you know. Like, they, if there's a dead end here, what the rabbit does is he sticks his head in there and bunches up like that. Yep. And the ferret just shoots, and it, you'll never get him out, mate. And the ferret, there's here he is. Chewy behind it. Good boy. Good dogs. All right, big buck. That's enough. Mine. That's enough. Mine. Mine. Good boy. Oh, that dogs love it. Right. Normally they get a bit antsy on the first couple and they settle down, but they've had two days rest and so they're a little bit. A bit yeah, buck, big buck. I might gut him straight away. Oh no, it's alright. I thought the dogs chewed a hole in his stomach. You hit that head, that net pretty hard, mate. Yeah, I think you, he, he come out. That other oh, I gotta watch. I'll drag it back down, mate. Oh.
<laughs> uh, you get it, it's like anything, the more you do it, the better you get at it. I remember I used to struggle with it too. And still do sometimes when they get really badly tangled. Thanks, Tim. Chewy. Dot 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 dot. This part is done. Dot 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 dot
भाई Have a drink, please. Hey, mate. One drink. Hey, buddy. My brother was a jockey too, before he died. He used to work for an old fella called Bill Purvis, out, out Nari Warren Way. So I got introduced to the horses pretty early, mate, and I do like them. I'm just too old and fat to ride them. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to lock these dogs up. Okay. I'm just going to put my dogs in the car. I don't like them running around once the sun gets up. They're going to be off. Well, it's the snakes I worry about. All right. Come. They cover a lot more ground than us, you know, so get up. Good dogs. Yeah, it's that time of year, you know, and I've, I've been seeing it, the odd one or two. Did you get many here? No, it's not good. I've, I've yeah. seen very few. Yeah, what? Look, I, I, th I think I ran over one in the slasher a couple of years ago in the vineyard. Yep. Um, I've seen one, I've had one on the track before. Yeah. But well, no. Because I'm out walking around in the paddocks and that, I suppose I'm, I'm sort of seeing more than most people. But, um,. But there's the odd one around, and the dogs cover a lot of ground, you know, like, you might only have one in this area, but they'll cover this area, and the chances of them standing on it, it's not worth taking a risk. Well, after I, after I leave here, I'll, I'm going to go yabby and I've got a dam that's, that's, that's got to told them quite a few, mate. But I've got to um, take the dogs home. It's, it's off the highway, it's real hard to park the car, but I found somewhere to park it. I had a look yesterday. And I'll walk over to it, but it's worth it. Yep. It's right next to a creek, and it's no one would ever do it. And you can tell it's milk, a big, great big milky dam, just off the western highway. You know where the, you know where the shed is over there. Yeah. A lot of rabbits run around there, but if you go up over this hill, there's a, there's a fence, and then there's another paddock. Yeah. 
And there's quite a few in that paddock. I seen him this morning when I got him. Oh, it's a pretty big paddock. And some, a lot of times you don't notice that so you'll get a just a, a burrow like this in the middle of the paddock, and no one ever does it, you know. Yep. And they just breed up and breed up until eventually, you know, you got a burrow like this with 50 in it. Um, there's a few up at Mum's, which has got sheds up there. If you want to come have a look up there. Yeah, I, I won't get round till today, okay. but at, but at some point I'll um yep. I'll have a look. There's some up there. When the weather's better, I'll yep. ferret all day. Yeah, but um, what's better weather like 20 degrees? Yeah, well, no, no, no. Anything like 22, 23 is still all right. Yeah. But normally, when, once it starts dropping like that, the mornings are real cool, and the snakes go away. The main, the main thing is the ferrets get lethargic once it's, once it gets to about 20, they get really lethargic, and they don't really have their mind on the job, and they just go in and out, and you're sort of wasting your time a bit. Yeah. Which is uh, normally this time of year, I go out. Get here on daylight, and by the time you do two or three burrows, you're gone. You're going home. Yeah. But uh, as the weather gets cooler, but already I've had a few days where I was out, you know, five, six hours. You'll be on it, mate. YouTube yeah. star now. Doug Craig, the ferret man. Okay. And um. He's gonna go through. Have you? Yeah. He's got the same one as you, but he doesn't have a cape. All right. GoPro. Yeah. Mine's a GoPro. Um. It's got a bigger Ten. Line. Oh, his is 11. This is the one up. Yeah. Mine might be 11. It is. It, oh, I don't know. It's 10 or 11. It's, it says on, if you took it out of the case, it says on it. Yeah, I think it's, look, I, don't, I never have it out of the case, but yeah. I think it's 10, that one. So he, what, what channel do you use to, what app or whatever do you use to edit? I, I use Cyberlink Media Suite to out, do all my editing, but it's got um. Yeah, it does everything. You know, it's just got the whole package, audio and yep. all that sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Still got to know what you're doing. It's got a yep. steep learning curve. Yeah. But um, once you know it, it's pretty good. I've been using it for a few years. Yep. I'm getting uh, the. Do you know what the dead jar I can? Really good yeah. Good man on the road. He's fucked a few play drones. A few. Toy drones, Max. <coughs> oh, righty, eh? Yeah, get a good, get a good one. They're, they're a lot of fun, mate. They... Yeah, I'm getting. Do you know the day dry one? Day dry one. What is it? Sorry. Day dry. Not really. Yeah, no, I've never it's heard of. Like GoPros. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. The yeah. video GoPro. And it's know? got a built-in camera, or built-in screen. The trouble, I, look, I'd love to have a drone for doing this sort of thing for my YouTube channel, but the trouble is, it's um, you get some excellent footage, but it's uh. It's just more stuff I've got to carry and charge and set up. Yeah, it's just so, more time. It's more time. I reckon the, the new ones like they have collision avoidance and everything. They're yeah. Yeah, get the baits at you because I'm good AI, you know. Because I'm already so you can set it up, it up to the city and pop her yeah. as you're going around. And, and they come back on their own. And they come yeah. back. Yeah. If you, if well, we'll walk over. Don't stand gut. Yeah, I'll have a look at this. I'm probably not going to. I'm probably not going to do it tonight now, Tim. But I will call you and come back next week. Next week, sometime. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. We'll put a couple of nets and I'll drop in. I'll bring an extra couple of ferrets. I've got uh, seven or eight here today, which would have been enough. There is a couple in that other gully as well. Yeah, on the fence line there. Oh. Yeah, I'll get off. I'll get Close them down for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, this. I've seen a few running down this hill, mate. There is another burrow um, oh, up you further a bit, yeah. We have been. I had a bit of a walk first. Oh, there's a few in here, mate. There might be one there. That log, that log would probably have a small one on it. And then actually at the end of the olive tree, just over the fence, there's a heap That's around the walnut tree and whatever. That's where I thought you were originally. I did, there's lots up there. I did, there's some in the Eagle Hawk actually. You tried poisoning them? 
No. Yeah, it's like chucking ch chocolate when there's this much grass around, but it, when, when it's real dry, that's when it's its most effective, the poison. But it's a prick of a thing, poison. It's the way, what it does to them. Well, it's, it's hard to do it really because the ground's so hard and you've got to fill yeah. the burrows in. So. We have gone down here with tobacco. Down yeah, we talked to a lot of different. I put up, I, like a lot of greenies give me a hard time on the YouTube page and that, and I tell them, I said, look, I understand your point. I said, but you're talking to me in ignorance. And they said, oh, what do you mean? I said, they said, oh, there's better ways of doing it. I said, will you tell me more humane ways? I said, will you tell me how? I said, you shoot them. It's, it's a lot quicker. I said, you're correct. I said, but now rabbits, they breed like rabbits. I said, what happens to their kits now? I said, they're stuck in a burrow with no mum. They're going to starve to death. Yeah, well, that's what happens. So that's not that humane. Most, most of the rabbits are running around at some point have got kits and if you're shooting them all the time, you'll shoot them with kits. Khaleesi virus is a, like a bowler, 72 hours of agony before they implode and, and die. Yep. Myxomatosis goes without saying. And, um, and ferreting, when you, when you put them in the burrow, if there's kits in there, they'll kill them all in seconds, mate, every single one. Yep. So they don't have to die of starvation. And then they'll get the mum, because if you catch the mum, the, the kits are already dead anyway. You bolt them out into the net and... Well, if you're used that way... Right. Used 30 seconds, they're, they're dead. Okay, well thanks for that. Alright Tim, I'll, um, what I'll do is I'll come back out um, this week. I'll give you a ring before I'm coming. Yep. Let you know. But probably ne maybe Tuesday I'll come out. Yep. And um, I'll, clean, I'll clean these up for you and we'll get a few out. Okay, 15 minutes uh... Sorry, sorry boys, but it's just getting too warm, you know. Yeah. Um, I just don't want to um, have issues with me. Get down to the fence, I've got a slash, like I have a slash this side of the fence. It's all across so, the back gate, or you either do a U in or something like that. So what are you saying, Tim? Oh, there is a fence. You can't. Oh, a gate? No, up a fence. fence. And I have slashed a couple of... Oh, I'll just go down here, do a U in, go straight okay. back up. Yep. Pretty easy. Might be the easiest way. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, I'll give you a call if you if you if you're round on Tuesday morning. I'll um. Oh, these back at school. Yeah. You never. I never know anymore because my kids are all growing up. And... Sadly, we are back at school. I'd prefer to be parenting at school. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, mate. Okay. See you later, Tim. See you later, boys. Alright guys, that's going to be it for another day. It's already getting too warm. Uh, we'll get home and um, and I'm going to go out yabbying. So that's going to be it for another day. You see, see the, uh, the scenery a little bit better now. Beautiful view from up the top there. Whatever you're doing in life guys, make sure you enjoy. Because it goes past way too fast. Bye for now. Just come down to do this jam. I left Tim's place now, guys, taking the dogs home and got all my yabby and gear. And um, I just walked down the hill to this dam. This is the one I'm going to try. I reckon we might do all right, hopefully. But I did notice quite a few rabbits running around, just quietly. Not a, not a lot, but three or four just here just before. It's a bit of a burrow across there on that bank too near the railway line. That might be Owl's Paddock, I'm not too sure. Anyway, I'm going to get uh, set up and see if we can't get a feed of yabbies out of this dam. I see Graham went out yesterday and he caught quite a few. I've got my chair, I'll put it in the shade somewhere, probably just in there. The dam looks alright, doesn't it? It's pretty big. Pretty close to the highway. There's my car right up there. All right, get back to you. One in the water. We should do all right out of here, hopefully. I'm just using some uh, ox heart for bait. 
I'll give you a look at that in a minute. For the people out there that have never done this before, you can pick these nets up. They're relatively cheap and they're legal. The Opera House nets are illegal now. Because they catch platypuses and turtles and stuff and drown them or whatever. That's what they reckon anyway. So I've got these ones, these are legal, because they can climb out the top. The trouble with that is soaking the yabbies. The yabby and sit or miss, you don't know if they're in here, but I do know another den that's got quite a few in it. Put that stick in there so you know where it is. And I'll do the same thing to the other the other one. So a bit of funny out of Tim's today, he owns that winery out there. He's got a few burrows there, not a lot, but with, you know, if you're all holding a few like that. He said there's um He said there's a few burrows on uh, most of the rabbits were in the the burrow near the, near the olive trees. Uh, I'm gonna go back out there on Tuesday. Monday I'm gonna be cars booked in for a service. And tomorrow's going to be pretty hot, so we'll leave it till Tuesday and we'll head out. But a lot of fun this morning going out there, beautiful views, just a nice property. But really, really good property, mate. Fantastic to get out and about. Get a big chunk of meat. Your net. Ox heart and liver, I think, is pretty good for this sort of thing. Lamb's fry, all that type of stuff. And it's a nice relaxing. I mean, look where I am on the edge of the highway, but lots of uh, bird activity. Some chairs over there in the shade, got a drink in the bucket. So we'll just sit here and take it all in and enjoy it. Just make sure this is untangled. Looks a bit. One to go. Normally I'll check them every 15 minutes, something like that. Just pull them in and throw them back out. But if you haven't got anything after, you know, 20 minutes, you're probably not going to do very well. Go find a better dam. I'll go around the other side. If I don't do any good this side, I'll give it a quick go over there and see how we go. But I think we'll do all right. two over where I'm sitting in the, in the shade. Okay guys, get back here in about 15 minutes. Just seen a rabbit run across right there and ran into that bush right there. So he's either just hiding in there or there's a burrow. Probably just hiding. Oh there he goes. Look, I don't know if he's going to come out the camera but he's right there. He, moved over to there, he was just hiding. There's a bit of a trail here and I'm just wondering if I can drive my car right up to it. it. Looks like at some point you get a vehicle in. I had a bit of a look the other day to see if I could get in but it didn't look like it. I'm not surprised there's a few rabbits here, that's for sure. But there's not a lot, there's just a few kicking about here and there. But the birds are singing and it's a nice time for the wolf for a walk. It's 
just because um, I'm in the shade from the trees. It's a bit warm in the sun already, but the shade of the trees is not bad. There's one, there goes one. Oh, there's two or three of them over there, just over there. Seen one run across and there was another two sitting under the bush there. Oh, there's another one. It's still going. And you, you get that a lot in these sort of places. You see the rabbits, but there's no burrows. So this track... Comes up to the railway line. Well, I did spot a burrow over on that mound. Anyway, get back to you guys. I'm just having a look around. Another but rabbit take off. All it was doing was sitting right there. Right there. And it just took off. It's like they're just living above the ground in the scrub. That's where he was. There's an old sort of start of a burrow there. That's what you've been, been what I've, what's been happening. I'm seeing a few running around, but no burrows. It's weird. that mound burrow over there, it's about the only one. And there's a fair bit of digging sign around and lots of poo patches like that one. Might not be able to see it. That looks like a burrow there in the paddock, right there. Right in the middle of the paddock. There's another one over there in the middle of the paddock. So that's where, they, that's where they're going. Must be some sandy ground. I don't have permission, so I'm not going over there. That's all private property on that side. See all the scratching here. Oh well, it's a bit, a bit of a walk. I'm just about back at the car now. I sort of went up and around. Back to where we started. Just about time to check the next. Just pull, guys. Oh yeah, we're getting a few out of here, mate, that's for sure. Nice, mate, it's not bad for one pull. Pretty good. You beauty. Mate, drinking a knife out of there, mate. Get him in some water in the bucket. Well, that was pretty successful, wasn't it? Get some good bait for, for uh, Yabby and two, Graham. And I'll be doing a bit of that over the next, maybe tomorrow. I'm just checking for eggs, guys, because the ones with eggs I put back. So there's a few Yabbies in here, isn't there? Ah! That one bit me. Some 
good bait there too, real good bait. Oh, it was pretty good, wasn't it? Put that back in. Not bad for a first pull, it's pretty good. So that answers that question, Graham. There is a few yabbies in here, mate. Not heaps, but there's a few. Not as many in that one. Plenty of bait now, mate. And to tell you the truth guys, that was one of the main reasons I come out today. Look, you get a feed of yabbies, but I wanted to get some yabbies for bait. They're bloody expensive to buy. If you can find them. And they're real good bait for, for, for big trout and big big uh, redfin. Real good bait. Underrated in my opinion. I'd rather sit there and only catch the big stuff and sit there on with worms and bloody get a million small bites and catch a bunch of little stuff doesn't doesn't do much for me okay good It doesn't surprise me to see a few yabby holes along the edge. Now, go check the other ones, take your bucket with you. So we've got about, oh, I don't know, 20 or 30 off the first pull. So far, out of two nets. And there might be more at this end, we don't know. There's another burrow on some logs over there, I can see it. There's a big pile of logs over there. There's a big burrow on it. See all the dirt scratched out. That's got a few rabbits in that paddock. That's some five minutes from the house. Many. About, about ten. Real good. Can I do a bit of fishing tomorrow? They are getting a few yabbies in Lonsdale, Graham, but I reckon they're patchy, mate. Apparently, they're getting a few, but they're patchy. My mum will be happy because, look, I, I love eat, eating them too. Oh, Jesus, look at the yabbies in there. I thought it was a bit heavy. A few more in there, mate. 
a bit on all can them. Seven. Eight. Fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, hang on. Fifteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Not bad. Tighten our meat up. Kids are making a mess of the meat, aren't they? And normally that's what I'll do, guys. I don't rate the dens. I sort of just take what I can eat. A lot of people take them and freeze them. They get more than they're going to use. It's not if you're going to give them away or if you're not going to eat them. What's the point of taking them? But I'll keep a few for bait. All the smaller ones. And the rest of them we'll have to with salt and vinegar and pepper tonight. Yummo. Alright guys, that's all done. Go home, cook these up. Get them ready to eat. Bit of salt and vinegar, put them in the fridge. Salt, vinegar and pepper. And they're beautiful. So ends another day. I've been out and about. Doing the things that I love doing. Birds are singing, sun shining. Got a few rabbits and a feed of yabbies. Life just doesn't get any better. Whatever you're doing in life, guys, make sure you enjoy. Because the life goes past just way too fast. Bye for now.